Welcome to the channel. I am Manager Marty, and today we're going to be talking about Errol Spence versus Terrence Bud Crawford. Now, in the weeks leading up to where we are today, there are a few other reports from YouTubers, content creators, uh, even uh, ESPN reporters and unreliable sources that have reported on this fight or the potential of this fight actually occurring in the past 60 days. So before I continue this video, let me give you a prerequisite of what I'm going to be discussing in my point. First thing is that we as fans, we have been hearing from the beginning that Crawford and Spence are in negotiations to make a fight happen. And then there were reports that surfaced, reliable or unreliable, that stated that Crawford is disputing the split of the revenue, such as an agreed upon purse and the pay-per-view buys. And then we've heard that Crawford refused to sign the contract. And then we heard that Spitz refused to sign the contract. And then out of the blue, we heard that all parties involved agreed to all terms in the contract. We've heard that in a matter of just about two to three weeks ago. And now, as of to date, we're hearing that Crawford is questioning the validity of the percentage that he allegedly agreed upon. And so now he has requested that PBC, Al Heyman, and or Showtime collectively, quote unquote, open the books to confirm that he will receive his agreed upon split. And it has put the fan bases of Spitz up in arms and the fan bases of Crawford up in arms. And so before I even talk about my point, let me say this, and let me say this very clearly. There are a lot of people, whether they are YouTubers, content creators, and or legitimate reporters who are employed by sports companies. Y'all got to stop saying that your sources told you because every time I hear someone say on YouTube that their sources told them something, a week or two later, we have discovered as fans that those sources were unreliable because whatever those sources told them contradicted what we've been hearing. Now, to my point, if this is true, that Crawford is asking PBC to open the books, quote unquote, open the books, or to scrutinize the validity of PBC and Showtime's budget or uh, confirming whether or not he will get his agreed upon split, let me say something and let me be clear. There's not one fighter, not one fighter, who do not have adequate management and or their own promotion company that will have the jurisdiction to request any promoter and or network to quote unquote open the books. You've never heard no other fighter 
nowhere in the history of this sport, publicly that is, request a promoter to open some books. If you know anything about this business, and most of you don't, you will realize that that's cap, as the young people say. That's cap. Open what books? What does that mean? I need someone in the comment section to tell me what does open the books mean in boxing? I'm not talking about in any other industry. I'm not referring to any other occupation. I'm talking about in the sport of boxing. What does open the books mean? Is Crawford asking or requesting PBC to show the validity of past numbers through Nielsen scans? Are, 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 are we at a place where uh, Crawford is asking Showtime to show him the ratings that they generate in pay-per-view buys? What does open the books mean? Somebody in the comments section, explain that to me. And then I'm going to do another video on your responses so that we all can understand what open the books mean. Point number two. Even if open the books mean that Crawford is asking PBC and or Showtime to prove the validity of their past history in business. Crawford has no jurisdiction. But Crawford, to my understanding, according to my research that I've conducted, and those of you that know me know, I love doing homework. I haven't discovered any evidence proving that Terrence Bud Crawford owns his own promotion company. If he does, I need you to tell me in the comment sections the name of it so I can go do my due diligence. And then I will do another video apologizing for being wrong. But I haven't seen anything, anywhere, proving that Terrence Bud Crawford owns his own promotion company. Now, why am I bringing that up? What is the significance of me talking about a fighter owning their own promotion company? Because Terrence Bud Crawford, if he does not own his own promotion company, he's not qualified to request anybody, PBC, Al Heyman, or Showtime, to open no books. PBC and Showtime, and Fox, may I include, have a proven track record of doing good business in the sport of boxing. And don't take my word for it. Just ask all the fighters that are signed either directly or indirectly to PBC, Al Heyman, and or Showtime or Fox. And let them tell you. Let them tell you how they have benefited from the business acumen and the good business practices of PBC, Al Heyman, and Showtime. He's not qualified. That's facts. Now, let's get to this. He asked for a percentage. He agreed to the percentage. I thought just a matter of a week or two ago that all parties involved agreed to all the terms of the contract. So if somebody agreed to the terms and the other somebody agreed to the terms, why are we talking a week or two later about a discrepancy of the terms? Makes no sense. Somebody is capping, as the young people say. Somebody's lying. And we're going to get to the bottom of who's lying. Because it's all about accountability and credibility in this sport of boxing. 
Now, as far as the business of boxing goes, there are so many expenses that are associated with organizing and hosting a boxing event. Now, I'm going to educate and inform my audience because that's what Manager Marty does. Who knows how much it costs to install a boxing ring inside of a venue? Put the put put the comment in the comment section. Put the answer in the comment section. How much does it cost? How much does it cost for a venue to charge the promoter for lighting? Audio and visual production. Site fees. Sanctioning fees. Answer the question in the comment section. I'm getting somewhere with this. Hold on. Stay with me. The officials, you know, like the inspectors, they have to get paid too. The referee, the judges, the ring announcer. And you can have multiple ring announcers, by the way. But let's just assume that you have one who's going to announce throughout the entire duration of the event. Y'all see where I'm going with this, right? The ring car girls. The timekeeper. May I continue? Good. Now. You mean to tell me that a fighter is interested in knowing all of those expenses? Those expenses are associated costs that the promoter is responsible for. So what does that have to do with a fighter who doesn't even own his own promotion company? What do you need to know the expenses for? You ain't put in on this. That's the attitude that the promoter can have. You're not investing any of your own fiduciaries. So what difference does it make to you? What does it mean by open the books? I need answers in the comments section. doesn't make any kind of sense if this is true the problem is that if it is true then somebody lied about the previous reports that all parties involved have agreed to all of the terms so then why a week or two later we talking about someone questioning the validity or the credibility of PBC Al Heyman and or Showtime. Somebody is lying. And even if it's true. Bud Crawford, if it is true, and his team are out of their jurisdiction. Open the books. What does that actually mean? Open the books mean. That you're going to actually audit. Audit. The past. Record keeping. Of PBC and or Showtime and or Al Heyman. I'm all for challenging the credibility of a person. But only if I am qualified. And Bud Crawford, if this is true, is not qualified. He's out of his jurisdiction. He didn't ask Bob Arum to open his books. 
And we know what, and, and, and we know how much of the percentage that Bob Aaron was getting every time Bud Crawford put on a fight. So why all of a sudden now, PBC, Al Heyman, and Showtime have to open up some books? Manny Pacquiao didn't ask or request PBC, Al Heyman, and Showtime to open up no books. When he was a free agent, after he left Bob Arum, like Terrence Crawford did. And we all know that Manny Pacquiao sells 10 times more live gate and on pay-per-view buys than Bud Crawford. This is not an indictment on Bud Crawford, this video. But if Bud Crawford is asking for PBC and or Showtime to open the books. If that's true, I encourage you, Bud Crawford, get your ducks in order. Get your credentials in order so then you can be qualified enough to enter in a jurisdiction that you're associated with. But you don't own your own promotion company, Bud Crawford. So you're out of your jurisdiction. You know Errol Spence. I think he has man down promotions. Oh, he can ask for an audit because he's asking as a promoter, not just as a fighter. That's the difference. And of course, he will receive the lion's share in pay-per-view buys, live gate, and he's still going to get a little bit on the back end because he has his own promotion company. If this fight happens between Bud Crawford and Errol Spence. Thank you for your time. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. And I need you all to answer that question and leave the answer in the comment section below. What does it mean by open the books? in boxing. I'm Manager Marty. I'll see y'all next time.